Hello everyone, my name is Munir al from easymedicaldevice.com and today I will tell you how to find a notified body for the European Union. It's easy, but I receive a lot of time this question. I will also tell you how to find it with the notified body number when you have a product and you have the number on it. So let's jump in on my screen now. So first what we will do, we'll just go on Google and look for Nando. And I will just put Europa behind because um, there is other, if you put just Nando, you will find other sites that have nothing to do with, uh, with the CE marking. And here you have the first one, which is Nando IS, Europa, as I said. And you arrive to the, the page for Nando. Nando means New Approach Notified and Designated Organizations. So here, what is important is um, for, I will, we look specifically for those three sections. Uh, this is the section to find notified body in three different manners. First, we'll go on the country. If, for example, you are looking for notified body specifically for your country. So we have here uh, all the list of the countries where are not, some notified bodies are accredited. And we can go, for example, in Belgium. Let's check this one. And you have here all the notified bodies that are in Belgium. The only thing that I didn't precise is that notified bodies is not only for medical devices. Notified bodies is for all products that should be CE marked. So you have a notified body for uh, also uh, toys. You have notified body for anything, if I can say. All products that have a CE mark should uh, have a notified body. So how can we select here the notified bodies that are specifically for medical devices? Here you have a filter. Uh, with all the legislation. So these are all the legislation on scope. And for example, for medical devices, this is this one, 9342 EEC for the medical device directive. And if we click on this, okay, we can see here that there is only one notified body in Belgium for uh, the medical device directive. So it's SGS Belgium. And you have here the number of this notified body, so 1,639. This is the number that will appear behind the CE mark uh, on, on the box of your product if your product is more than class one. So if it's class one sterile, class one measuring function, class one reusable now with the, with the new medical device uh, regulation, or class 2A, class 2B, and class three. So you will have this uh, number behind. And if you want to have more information about this notified body, you just click on it and you have all the information. And you can see here that this notified body is accredited for three legislation. So medical devices, noise emission in the environment by equipment for use outdoors and pressure equipment. So you see that it's not only medical devices. So now that we see about countries, so as I've said, you can check uh, all the notified bodies that are in your specific country. We can go now on legislation. So legislation will show you the notified body per legislation. So it means that it's not by country. So for example, if we go back to the medical device uh, uh, directive, 9342 EEC. So here you see all the notified bodies this time that are specifically for medical devices. You can see here GMED in France uh, with the number 459. You have BSI with the number 86. Uh, you have, uh, yeah, you have all the notified bodies here. And you have also the countries where they are located. So for example, we have BSI, which is in United Kingdom. Uh, as we have the Brexit, I don't know how they will manage that. Uh, Lloyd's also in the United Kingdom, SGS also in the United Kingdom, etc., etc. So you can see uh, Germany, Eurofins, Italy, uh, ENT, Certificazione, uh, Machine, uh, SRL, etc., etc. So here, you can look for your notified body, I mean, look for one notified body, the one that you want to choose for uh, this uh, uh, directive. If you want to make it more, um, yeah, more precise, if I can say, you can see here that you have also some filters. You can decide which uh, conformity assessment you want to go for, if you want to go for a full quality assurance system, so Annex 2 or for product quality assurance, Annex uh, 6 or for production quality assurance, Annex 5, you can define that. So it means that if you decide to go only for product quality assurance, you have this one here and you can filter, let's do it now, uh, all the notified bodies that are accredited for this specific conformity assessment. So here you can see all of them. 
But if you already have decided one notified body, uh, so let's go back here or you can make also the research in an, another way. You can go directly to the notified body that you want. So let's take, for example, um, SGS United Kingdom. So when you go to this notified body, uh, as I said, you have all the information here. So the number of this notified body is 0120. You have all the legislation for what this notified body is accredited. And if we go on the medical devices, you just click on the PDF or HTML if you want, but PDF or just to get the paper if you, you want to print it. And here you have all the information about this notified body. It means uh, who is the uh, accreditation body, uh, so MHRA. Uh, no, accreditation body is UKAS, so the, uh, um, the competent authority is MHRA. And you have here the legislation, you have the uh, information about the notified body, you have the number of the notified body, and below, you have a table with all with all the products that um, where this notified body is accredited for, with all the uh, uh, certificate uh, conformity assessments and annexes. So you can see here that uh, yeah, this is a big list. But if you have a specific product, you have to check this one. You have to check, for example, if you are using uh, if your product is a device for imaging, then yes, this notified body. Is, uh, is accurate for that. But you can go more specifically, is it imaging devices utilizing ionizing radiation, etc., etc. So when you are looking for a notified body, you have also to look for which product this notified body is accredited. And so you don't choose it just, uh, just like that. But anyway, the notified body should tell you yes or no, I'm capable to uh, certify you for this, uh, for this product. So if we go back now, uh, and so, as I've said, we have the legislations and you can choose the one that you want. So, as I've said, you have this one for medical devices. You can also go for in vitro diagnostic medical devices. And you can see here that the list is really shorter, if I can say. So, we have still BSI, you have still AGS, um, and uh, you can also see that BSI is listed here once and is also listed here. A second time because uh, BSI as they are in UK they are now also transitioning their headquarters to Netherlands so it's why they have also this accreditation here for the, um, the medical device directive what we can check also is about here the new medical device regulation and the new in vitro diagnostic regulation so if you want to check which notified body is accredited for that, so you have just to click here. So in vitro diagnostic uh, medical devices. So as of today, so we are end of January 2019. There is nobody and we know that. So they are still under um, assessment. And for the second one for the 2017-745 on medical devices, so the MDR medical device regulation. We have been informed recently that BSI is accredited now for this medical device regulation. The question is, as they are in the United Kingdom, what are they doing? Uh, what can they do by uh, after uh, March 2019? Because uh, there is the Brexit, so United Kingdom will not be part anymore from uh, for the on, on the European Union. So this is a, a question a question mark. Okay, so we have made the country, the legislation. So let's go now on body. So body is interesting because if you have a product and you don't know if you you don't know the notified body of this product, and if this product has a CE with a number behind, so you can use this number just to find who is the notified body. So you can go, for example, uh, one two three is TUV. For example, let's go here zero one two three zero one two three here is TUV Sud. And it's in German, so you can see here which are the notified bodies linked with this number. There is also another way uh, if you are interested also to just find uh, a notified um, a notified body. You have a free search. So if you have just a name, for example, you can just put here the name. So let's see here BSI, for example. Make search. And we have here all the notified body with the name BSI. So we see that there is three, one in Iceland, one in Netherlands, as we talked about, and one in United Kingdom. And here are all the three different notified body numbers for that. 
So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, as I've said, this is a question that I receive always, which uh, notified body is accredited for, uh, for CE marking. So I hope this helped you to find it uh, with the name, with the legislation, and also with the number uh, that is behind the CE marking. So if you like this video, please uh, put me a thumbs up and don't forget also to subscribe and to activate the bell behind just to get notified for any new videos. And I hope that you will also be interested to look at the, uh, at the article that I released. This is an article that is talking about how to check for your, uh, the accreditation uh, of your notified body. So you can go on the show notes to find the link uh, and to go uh, to look for it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.